Good morning, girls and boys. It's Mrs. Michelle. I just want to say hi and hope you're all doing really well. I loved seeing some of you at the parade last week, and I hope that we'll be able to have a parade real soon. But even better is if we started school soon. Here's our book. It's called Raccoon on His Own, and it was written by Jim Arnowski. Hmm. Raccoon on his own. This book was written for Haley. Wow. That's a cool snake. In the dark swamp, a new day dawned like a sleepy eye opening slowly in a wooden boat floated, nudged against some mud. Nudged. Hmm. The mud was soft and sandy. A mother raccoon with her young came to dig and search for food. Her young. Mother found a crunchy crawfish. Two of the young raccoons dug for the crawfish near the boat. The third raccoon was not hungry. He wanted to climb. I think he might have been curious. Hungry raccoons quickly dug up all the mud around the boat with no sticky mud to hold the boat. It began to float. Wow, what's happening? The raccoon in the boat looked up. A chill ran down his spine. He was drifting in the boat alone. He was on his own for the very first time. Afraid to jump into the dark water, he stared back at the mud bank. The boat silently carried him down the stream. boat glided under another branch. This branch was low enough to climb, but the raccoon saw the shape of a very long white snake draped over the branch and he ducked down. He crawled to the other end of the boat Downstream, he saw shadows, shadowy shapes of a plant and trees sticking up out of the water. The raccoon looked down into the dark stream and he saw a raccoon looking back at him. It was his reflection and it was keeping him company as the boat sailed along through the air so still. On the water that was so smooth. As the boat passed through a bunch of water lilies, oh, here they are, water lilies. Something huge made a splash. What was that? Look who's in the back. Do you see them? Who is that? It was a great big alligator that had been hiding under lily pads and the flowers. Wow. Look at the raccoon looking up over the edge of the boat. He's a little frightened, I think. I would be too. Sweet! 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 
came a sound from above. The raccoon looked up. Five young wobblers. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The birds called down. The raccoon shored back at them. I think they were talking to each other. <gasps> Look at how pretty they are. I think he's trying to talk to them. Three tiny little turtles swam up to the boat and the raccoon reached into the water to touch one of the turtle shells and all three of them scattered. Away they went. A mother, Merganzer, paddled by, leading her nine ducklings. The raccoon watched the ducklings swimming close to their mother to stay safe, I think. That's very smart. Can you see what's happening? Look closely at this picture, girls and boys. Do you see the baby raccoon in the boat? Do you see something hanging from the tree above the baby raccoon? Hmm. Suddenly, the boat bumped into another mud bank and stopped. The raccoon saw his family coming to meet him. He ran to his mother. Were they following him? Were they keeping an eye on him, trying to catch up to him? I think so. And just like that, they were all together again. Just like I hope we will be very soon. Be really helpful to your families and stay extra safe until we get to be together again. Mrs. Michaud and Miss Moran miss you so much. Bye.